Now, if my new plan works out, you guys are going to be back out here again. What's that? <laughs> this is exciting. I'm taking my SDX drill. I'm going to turn it into a twin roll drill, twin roll planting. OK, OK. And so what I'll have, I'll have two rolls of beans, seven and a half inches apart. Mm -hmm. Then I skip two. So then before you get to the next roll, you've got 22 and a half inch. And then, you know, twin seven and a half again. Now, I, I didn't think of this. I'll give, you know, uh, Travis Messer out at Plains Grain and, and Agronomy in Enderland. Is, he said, you know, we've tried this, and we've seen up to a six bushel yield gain. On soybeans? On soybeans, by going to a twin roll configuration mm -hmm. on the air drill. He said, we've switched our drills over. That, you know, they custom seed. Yeah. That's all we do is twin roll now. But I haven't heard anybody else doing it, so I'm going to convert my drill, which does not take much at all. Well, you just got to shovel over exploration. No, no, because that's all there. It is. All I have to do is, like right now, the front manifold feeds eight mm -hmm. runs in the front, and the rear feeds eight in the back. Yeah. Well, the front's got to feed, I mean, the one manifold's got to feed four in the front and four in the back. So, so that you just go, yeah, you just that go just has hoses. to be rehosed. Yeah. But then the front manifold sits in front of the front rank. That's got to get moved back to the middle. So the, the manifolds are actually going to sit right next to each other. Yeah. And then just rehose them. Yeah. And I can still, and then I'll still double shoot. You know, the two that aren't doing nothing. You know, I've got double shoot, so they'll still do my fertilizing. Yeah. So you'll put the phosphorus down where you're not putting. <laughs> right. Seed. You put seed over there in the twin rows. Yeah. So when I asked him, okay, well, how are we getting yield gain? I mean, what's your, you know, I said, well, I think uh, we're helping the white mold situation a little bit, just getting some air down the rows. Keeping that 22 inch roll there. Which would be no advantage against a planter, but against another drill. Yeah. And then we're, we're not driving down any beans. You know, we're, and see, my tractor then fits. I straddle three rolls instead of four. Yeah. So the tractor, Main tires fit. Now the duals do not fit. Mm -hmm. I actually need a 30 inch dual. Yeah. So I spray with single tires anyway. So the sprayer, what do I have to do? So I traded the sprayer off for tracks yesterday. Okay. We got track sprayer. I got a top arrow on tracks. So now I just deal with single tracks. Yeah. So now I, I don't have to worry about it. Well, that's, that's a big deal on soybeans because you're you spraying them twice. Yeah, at least twice. Uh, if you go back for insects three times, well, yeah. by the third time, there's nothing there. Yeah. And by that time, the plants next to them don't necessarily get the, uh, you know, the compensation factor is kind of too late. Yeah. Yeah. And then the third thing, he says, I, I, it just seems to me, you know, the, the seeds are just spread out better. You just got a little bit more room to, if a doubles drop or something. Mm -hmm. Well, the other thing that crosses my mind is the advantage of doing that is, you know, the buddy system in soybeans. The crusting, yeah. When you, when you put soybeans in right. it, more constantly, they emerge better. Yeah. So you probably... Oh, yeah, you go back to the 30 inch old days, those things could, through they could go Cross through anything. Thick, yeah. Oh, yeah. they would all get together and... Yeah, you'd lift it up, you'd you, see it go Yeah, you couldn't yeah, stop. You'd see it. See yeah. 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 So... You know, he just thinks just having them in a zone is better. Yeah. Yeah. So those are the three things. So I'm going to try it. He said it looks pretty cool too. You know, I mean, it isn't long and that roll's filled in. So you've got this nice, big, thick roll. nice wide, thick roll and everybody else has still got a skinny one. <laughs> so I like the idea of, of spraying down, driving down, yeah. you know, in between rolls. Almost like tram rolls almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then and you, you can still, you know, plant your wheat. You know, it doesn't change anything. All it's changing is the holding, really. Yeah. Okay. So I can still plant wheat with it. And then, you know, you're not balanced, you know, you're not, the drill's not gonna be balanced perfectly with the tractor, but with auto steer now, you just plug in your offset. You know, you just yeah. figure out what your offset is, plus or minus, whatever, and, and uh, that'll take care of that. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, if you there gain you a bushel. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a, a, a bushel will buy the tracks. Yeah. Uh, Two or two bushels will pay for the drill over the course of three or four years mm -hmm. to trade. 
Especially at today's commodity prices. Oh, yeah. take uh, one bushel and thirteen dollars or whatever you want yeah. to plug in. Yeah. So you know, it's just easy to equate everything down to. You look at that. That's like that feel. I'm thinking, why wouldn't you not accept tier four? Right. I mean, this is just like I said. This is I can't get everything switched quick, quick enough. Hopefully, the mm -hmm. quad track will come this fall, and then I've got the 8120. We'll we'll take one more 8120, and then the next one will be the tier four. Mm -hmm. So the Magnum I got now the quad track hopefully this fall and then the combine will be there and and you know uh, october whenever it gets built or 